Whoa! A big thanks to Bernhard for sponsoring this episode. I'm going to show you my favorite way to make loads of ribs for a big group of people. This is a mountain of food and underneath this mountain are the ribs. Big fat juicy ribs. And this is more than enough to feed your group of friends. Let me show you how it's done. This is a stack of St. Louis style cut ribs, which means you got a rack of ribs right here and a lot of meat there and it's all squared up looking absolutely beautiful with a lot of meat on the ribs and of course a good amount of fat and beautiful dark red meat for flavor. First thing to do is take off this membrane. I'm going to use my dinner knife to get started. Then with a paper towel I'm going to tear off the rest of the membrane. I'm going to do that for all the ribs. The next step is seasoning them with a barbecue rub. Of course, I'm going to use the Pit Maastricht's classic barbecue rub. You can find the recipe for free on our website. No charge, you can do it yourself. It's super easy, super cheap. So I'm going to take some of that. I'm going to season my ribs with it. And this is going to give it a beautiful classic barbecue flavor. Of course, I got to season both sides. These are pretty thick ribs and they can use a lot of flavor. And this is where the magic starts and it starts with a pan. If you want to make this, you're going to need a big round pan like this, but it still has to fit your barbecue, of course. Then I'm going to take my ribs, roll them up and set them up straight in the pan. Take the second one and continue the same process until all of the ribs are rolled up in the pan. And that's what it looks like when it all comes together. The ribs kind of fall down and hold themselves together. It's kind of like a giant pie. It's warm and snug and it's going to cook beautifully. And that's why I'm going to fire up my Bernhardt smoker, load it up with hickory pellets and set it to smoke at a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. The Bernhardt's slowly getting up to temperature and I'm going to put my ribs already on because why waste any of that heat? If you're gonna make this for your friends and family, they're gonna be impressed. And it's a super easy trick that you can use to make people smile. Of course, I'm gonna stick in my meter thermometer and stick it into the thickest part of the ribs. A lot of people think that you don't cook ribs to temperature, you cook them to tenderness. True, but it is also a good indication of how long it's going to take to cook your ribs because the meter app will tell you how long it's going to need. And just like with brisket, your ribs are gonna be done at a core temperature of 92 degrees Celsius. So let's close the lid and let it smoke. just got the notification from my thermometer that the ribs reached the core temperature that I was looking for and of course I want to check to see if that's true so I'm just gonna there we go that's how you know you can just tear a piece off <laughs> so let's take the ribs off there we go Whoa. look at that so beautiful smoked ribs and <laughs> look at all the juices we captured this means we got a lot of flavor in the pan. Of course, I can take the thermometer out now, but I'm not done yet. Now is the time that I'm going to show you how you turn this into something magical, something over the top that you can share with friends and family, and it's going to be more than enough to, well, for people to eat into their coma. First, I'm going to drizzle on some Blue's Hog barbecue sauce. Then I'm going to load on some shredded cheese. And of course, I rendered out some bacon so that I can sprinkle that on. A couple of jalapeno peppers. Time to add some nacho chips, more cheese, more bacon. I set the Bernard smoker to its maximum temperature and now it's time to put this dish back on. And remember, this is for a party. So you're gonna make a lot of people happy. You gotta put in the effort and we gotta melt that cheese and oh, look at that, that giant thing fits on the Bernard smoker. This grill never ceases to amaze me. The cheese melted, the bacon crispened up, and you can see that the ends of the nacho cheese are starting to crispen. Time to take it off and dress it up. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Look at that. Of course, it needs a little bit more barbecue sauce. There we go. Because your guests wanna have a good amount of sauce to dip their nachos in, to dip their ribs in. A little bit of green, 
And that's ready to be served. So I invited a couple of friends to help me out uh, eat the party dish. And for the people who wondered where Morrison is, I fired him. I don't know where he is. Maybe that might be living on the street. So I got Mitchell in and Morrison, his brother. Um, let's call him Freddy. Yeah. What's up? What's up, Freddy? What's up? Let me get some ribs. By the way, you don't really need to cut the ribs. Woo! Mitchell, Morrison has some ribs. Freddy. Freddy, Freddy, Freddy have some ribs. Ribs, nachos, bacon, oh, cheese oh. as a party dish. Mm. Mm. Couple of beers, couple of guys, just have some fun. Couple of ribs. Couple of ribs. See you guys next time. Until then, it's Margaret. I keep on running. Yeah. Wow, you close off the video. We're old school. Mm -hmm.